In this video, you're gonna learn how to compile and run an Angular app in Visual Studio Code that you've merged to GitHub from the App Builder. First, we're gonna take a look at Visual Studio Code, how to get your repository down to your local machine through Git. Then we'll look at installing dependencies for your Angular application, and then running the app, and then finally reviewing the output in the browser. Let's get started. Here I am at the Create New Application dialog inside the App Builder. Instead of doing a default layout, which would be just empty applications, I'm gonna pick a sample app, and we'll start with the Team Collaboration app. So you can pick any one of those sample applications. They're all preset, ready to go, and you just run them in App Builder, and then you can go ahead and modify the controls, bind to real data, really do whatever you want to customize it for your own needs. So in this case, this app is a master view with two screens. I'm simply going to click the Publish to GitHub option. What you have here is the ability to sync to an existing repository or to create a new repository based on your application type. So I'm gonna create a new repository for this application and we're just gonna call it Team Collab 1. You can give it a description. My first app builder app. It can be public or private and then simply click Create Repository. Once I create the repository, it goes off to GitHub based on your login. So if you didn't log in yet, the first screen we would have seen was log to GitHub. So in this case, I'm already logged in uh, and I have my avatar up here and I'm already working with my own GitHub site. So there's a couple more options you have on the second screen. I can add a summary, add a description, and a note after your initial publish. Future updates will use pull requests. We'll look at that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. Now this is taking all of the code that we've generated in the app builder, pushing it out to this new repository in GitHub. And it says, hey, this is published. So let's click it and it takes us right to GitHub. So here I am inside GitHub. You can see that this creates a default repository. I have all of the features that you would expect. If I drill into my source folder, go into app, you can see I've got all the screens that were created inside of the app builder with all the HTML, TypeScript and CSS. So I'm gonna go back to Team Collab. I'm gonna to go to the code dropdown and I'm just gonna copy this Git URL for the location of this inside of GitHub. Let's copy this down and now I'm gonna to go to Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna do a Command Shift P. This will bring up the options for my Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna do a Git clone. I'm gonna paste the URL for the repository that I wanna clone locally hit the enter key, I'm gonna select where I want it to go. I'm gonna say, put this in the repositories folder and I'm going to click open. Just like that, I have the application that lives in GitHub synced to my local Git on my local machine. So let's go ahead and go to terminal, do a new terminal. I'm gonna do an NPM install to install all of the dependencies to run this Angular application. Once all my dependencies are installed, I can type in npm start and this will run the application. And you can see that it loads up in my local host 4200. And here is my pixel perfect Angular application that was designed in App Builder now running real code with real navigation and real data inside of Visual Studio and localhost. Now keep in mind, you're using a source control system with GitHub. So that means if I make changes to my application and then I merge them to GitHub, then they will be reflected in the application that I have running locally. So let's go ahead and make a change. I'm gonna change the theme because it'll be very obvious that something has changed. Let's change this to a light theme, bootstrap light, so you can see how it will look in a bootstrap light. And I'm gonna say publish to GitHub. It says, hey, you already have a repository linked to this. Why don't we create a pull request? You can call it what you want. This defaulted a name for me, and I'll give it a description, updated theme, and we'll publish this. So now this creates a pull request in GitHub, and it's gonna be a similar workflow. You will get notified here that the pull request was created, so I'm gonna click the link, and here I am inside GitHub. It says, here's the pull request. We are also running 
CI builds on GitHub to ensure that the application passes the build checks. But I'm going to go ahead and merge this pull request here. No comment. I'm just going to confirm the merge. And now this is updated inside of the main branch in GitHub. Now, if I go back to Visual Studio Code, we'll see here that, oh, look, there's a couple updates that are coming from the server. Why don't we go ahead and synchronize those? So I'll just click the button to synchronize. You can see that we are recompiling. Let's go back to our team collaboration app and it will refresh. And like magic, it is the light theme that we enabled in the app builder. So with app builder and GitHub, you can create apps synchronized to a source control system and work on them with your team without losing any changes from anyone. To get more great videos like this to learn how to use the app builder and other Infragistics tools, click the subscribe button to get a notification when we post new content.